I feel like I'm wasting my time. This broom? This broom doesn't make me any money. I have a ton of leads that I could follow up with this week, but Davis just insisted on doing chores instead. I hate doing chores. And I know Jenny does too. Nobody likes doing chores. They take time away from the things we enjoy doing or the things that actually make us money. So we got two more sets of rolling shelves and these things are super nice. I got a set for all of the finishing uh, supplies and it's just been so nice that I wanted two more because I've got this table, which is just a giant collection of things that need a home, stuff sitting on the floor. And if you know anything, my number one rule is I don't want stuff sitting on the floor. Everything needs to have a home. So if it's not on wheels or if it's not a tool, I don't want it on the floor. Well, I already feel better about this and I haven't even put labels on everything yet, but everything is on these carts. I really cleaned up this cabinet. Um, I had a lot of stuff that uh, needs to go back to the house. So earmuffs and I don't even have an air compressor here. So that's all gonna go home. And these were things that are part of the big machinery. So like extra carbide tips and Allen wrenches for the table saw. So these all need to go into this one for the tool maintenance thing. Yeah, it's already looking so much cleaner, so much nicer, so. I feel a lot better now that we got everything organized and labeled. It's easy to go overboard with the labeling and stuff, but look at how nice everything is. I don't know, it just feels a lot more organized now. This is a floor scraper. We've been dropping glue and some finish and some other stuff on the floor and uh, it's kind of hard to get up, but this nice eight inch floor scraper is gonna make it really easy to get stuff off the ground like this tape. Boy, isn't that satisfying. When I was in college, I was a janitor and I was using one of these to scrape up tape on a gymnasium floor. I think my boss just gave me that job just to stay busy, so I quit. But uh, anyway, uh, which is also the name of our podcast. It's called the Let's Quit Podcast. I did not mean for this to be a podcast plug, but uh, we have a podcast. Hi. Um, yeah, we actually quit the Let's Quit Podcast, and in its place, we've started the Jenny and Davis Morning Show. We stream it live every weekday morning at 7 a.m. Central on Twitch. That's the best place to watch it. It's also on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook Live, but we'd prefer you watch it on Twitch. That's where you're gonna get the best viewing experience. It's just a fun, positive way to take your day by storm is the little cheesy tagline, but it's really just a way that we can share our morning routine together and start each day on the right foot together. We're gonna 
to walk through our morning routine. We're going to read books that help sharpen our minds. And it's just a great fun time over there. You should check it out. I'll leave a link to the show below the like button, which you should also click. It's free. But anyway, chores are stupid. The word chores just makes my blood boil. So then why, if they're so stupid, why does the military put so much emphasis on doing chores when you first get in the military? You make your bed, you change your clothes, you iron your uniform, you work out, you clean your room. Those are all chores that have absolutely nothing to do with flying a helicopter or taking a hill or doing whatever military job that you're gonna have. But yet every single recruit does thousands of chores in their basic training. Why? We also got more boxes in the mail. This is what they look like now. I think it looks a lot cleaner. We just got an order for a refinishing kit and we are out of finish. We have no more finish tins, so I've got to use our fancy new hot plate and make some finish. It's just beeswax and mineral oil, but. And as to not repeat the branding iron incident, and so I don't have to buy another disco light, I'm just gonna stay with the hot plate the whole time that it's on. drop soup getting hungry Jenny come here hurry you're gonna miss it does this look like egg drop soup it does <laughs> don't eat it I might I've eaten worse it's survival school man I ate a peanut that fell on top of deer poop or rabbit poop couldn't tell which one I ate it I'll burn my finger. All right, so now all these little tins need to cool. And man, if only I had a big fan that could push all the heat away from the little tins so that they harden faster. That little setup worked pretty well. Now we got new finishing tins in stock. We put the rest in the finish we use on the boards and uh, nice and easy. As much as we hate doing chores that take away from the fun stuff, like making sales or getting to build, if we don't take time to do these chores, the business will come to a screeching halt. Because then we won't get to make any sales or build anything. We'll go to reach for a box and they'll be gone. We'll sell a refinishing kit and realize that we don't have any tins of finish left to put in the box. We have to do our chores, even though it's gonna put us behind schedule.
I've got some boxes of scrap to ship out. You guys bought us out in like five minutes once again. Jenny posted one Instagram story and it was just gone instantly. So now I got a box up, 10 boxes worth of scraps. I hope I have enough. Should by the end of the batch of charcuterie boards, but get these out first. Yeah, we sell our scraps and it's just a box of scraps, weighs 15 pounds. These are all walnut. So I don't know if I've got any left over that I haven't filled, you're going to get cutting board stock, which is going to be maple and cherry. So best of luck to you. Pretty good looking box. See, the military uses chores to represent discipline, to get your house in order, basically, is what they're teaching you to do. The military cannot use you if you're undisciplined. Your habits of uncleanliness are gonna make you sick, and then you're not useful to anybody. If you don't get the right amount of sleep and go to bed on time, you're gonna break really expensive equipment. Bottom line, if you can't make the time to make your bed every morning, then you're not gonna make the time when it really counts. And you can't be trusted to prioritize the rest of your time as a responsible adult. He who can be trusted with little can also be trusted with much. The person who can't remember to iron both sleeves of her uniform also is the same kind of person who's gonna forget to put oil in both of the engines on an airplane. And in a business, you have to be disciplined on your own. There's no environment to help keep you on that straight and narrow. There is no business boot camp. You're pretty much on your own in the beginning stages. And that is why starting a business is so tough because it requires insane amounts of discipline. Yeah, an undisciplined person can make a quick buck for a few months, but eventually something is gonna catch up with you. You're gonna forget to pay taxes. You're not gonna know how much inventory you have. You're gonna bust a big deadline with a huge client. Something will put you out of business if you don't do your chores. So you've got to eliminate every point of failure that you possibly can. found the face of the Virgin Mary in a cutting board. It's abstract, but that's her. She told me. I always get questions. Where can I buy that? Where can I buy that? Every time I use this jig, I made this jig. You can make one yourself. So this is just a piece of half inch plywood that has been cut to the ideal shape that I want when I'm finished. I drilled a hole and put an oak dowel here so that the hole in the cutting board blank indexes to the appropriate spot. The extra will hang off the edge here and the flush trim bit in the router table will reference against the plywood and will cut away anything that is not this. I've got these toggle clamps so that it gets held down tight so the router bit doesn't yank it out of my hands. Yeah, it's pretty nice.
And when all our chores are done, we can do the fun stuff, like working on these charcuterie boards. Ask me how I do it, I just stick to the bed.